It's Oscar time. Sunday night, Hollywood will give famous people awards for what they say are the best performances. But Oscars leave out political actors. Not fair. Politicians deceive people just like actors do. And some of their performances deserve recognition. If not Oscars, at least a Stasker. So here are this year's Stasker Awards. The award for best performance by a rich elitist goes to House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi. In her eagerness to trash Trump's tax cuts, she described $1,000 bonuses as crumbs. Crumbs that they are giving to workers to kind of put the schmooze on is so pathetic. The award for best performance by a Democrat goes to San Francisco District Attorney George Gascon. After California legalized weed, the DA promised to drop 3,000 marijuana convictions. And he made getting them dropped easy on the poor guys sitting in jail. The process will take no hearings. People will not have to hire attorneys. They will never have to come to our courts. We believe that it's the right thing to do, and it's a just thing to do. And speaking of doing the right thing, the Stasker for best performance by the president goes to the moment when President Trump said, We have cut 22 burdensome regulations for every one new rule. Great. I wish he'd cut the new rules, too, but I'll take what I can get. After all, he also chose Jeff Sessions to be his attorney general. And Sessions wins the Stasker for worst praise for government abuse, for saying this about asset forfeiture. I love that program. We had so much fun doing that, taking drug dealers' money. So much fun? Taking billions of dollars from people, most of whom never even got a trial? That's a crime, not good government. Yet both parties like it. And that isn't even the worst example of bipartisanship. We have worked well together. The Stasker for the worst act of bipartisanship goes to Senators Chuck Schumer and Mitch McConnell for their budget deal. This budget deal is the first real sprout of bipartisanship. I particularly want to thank my friend, the Democratic leader. I hope we can build on this bipartisan momentum. No, please don't. You've already added billions to our unsustainable debt and caught almost nothing. Does any politician ever say no to more government? Well, yes, one has. Rand Paul gets a Stasker for best defense of the Constitution. Paul demanded the NSA and FBI get warrants before they spy on Americans. Do we really want all of our phone calls recorded and then have the ability of the government to bring you in and ask you questions about your phone calls? And if you're not perfectly accurate in recording your phone calls, you could go to prison? All we're asking for is that for Americans, the Constitution should be in order. But the Constitution bores people, so spying on Americans continues. Next, the Stasker for Best Democrat on free speech goes to Senator Elizabeth Warren, who, after joining left-wingers and vilifying a conservative, then said, I think it's dangerous to suppress speech. First, suppression can backfire. Instead of shutting up individuals with disgusting views, it becomes a launching pad to national attention. Second, suppression suggests weakness. It makes us sound afraid, like we're afraid that we can't defeat evil ideas with good ideas. Good point. The way to fight bad ideas is with good ideas. Unfortunately, her ideas are usually not good ideas. And that brings us to the Stasker for worst performance by a president. That goes to Narcissus. No, wrong picture. I meant President Trump for bragging like a child in tweet after tweet. Don't misunderstand. The Stasker judges love his tweeting. But some are repulsive. He's a genius. He ended the assault on Christmas. And because he got strict on commercial aviation, there have been zero deaths. Give me a break. He hasn't even done anything that affected aviation. Finally, just as the Oscars give out one Lifetime Achievement Award, this year's Stoskers conclude with an award to a politician who consistently has fought for liberty. It's trillions of dollars we're spending on these wars. 
Congressman Ron Paul has taken every opportunity he can to challenge enemies of liberty. I don't understand this division, why you may defend uh, social liberty, liberties where rather well, but as soon as it comes to me spending my money and assuming responsibility. He fought to limit executive power. Why don't we just open up the Constitution and read it? You're not allowed to go to war without a declaration of war. And he fought the political bipartisanship that's bankrupting America. And we've had way too much bipartisanship for about 60 years. Ron Paul deserves several Stoskers for fighting for freedom. Now my time is up. That's the Stoskers for this year.